Wednesday, Toronto auction house Cali Abbott Fine Art will have a painting on the bidding blocks by one of Canada's most recognized renowned artists, Tom Thompson, valued at between 900,000, 1.2 million. And here with a closer look at that piece and a few other important works is art specialist Rob Cali. Rob, thanks for being here. It's so good to have you in person. In, Indeed, good in to be back, set. George. Thank you. Uh, so tell us first about Nocturne as we push into it. Where does it fit in, in the Thompson sort of, you know, lore and legacy and lexicon? Well, it's late, um, which is very important with his work. You know, Tom Thompson, what's amazing about Thompson is that in five years, he went from being a very good artist to one of our best artists. Um, it's quite remarkable. This painting's from the spring of, or summer of 1916, so about a year before his death, which affects its value, the period does. And so that's one of the reasons it's carrying a value of 900 to $1.2 million. Well, let's talk about that in terms of uh, valuing pieces. And, and you have kind of a 10 commandments of valuing art. What, you know, what makes a work appreciate or depreciate? Well, I mean, first, uh, obviously most obvious is artist. So an, a work by Tom Thompson can be millions of dollars. A work by his brother, George Thompson, can be $1,500. Mm -hmm. And so that, uh, the subject matter, um, a landscape by Thompson will always sell for more than a still life, like a, a floral still life by Thompson. Period, condition, those are some of the main, uh, the, the main attributes we look for when valuing a work. As we're going to push into the uh, to the colorful piece on the end. Tell us about some of the other works you brought in. Yeah, we have we have a very wide range of works, both post-war and historical, on Wednesday evening. Um, so this is a Guido Molinari. He's a color field painter in Canada. 1970s work. We actually have three fantastic works by the artist in the sale. And this work carries a value of between forty and sixty thousand dollars. And uh, next along the line, let's we talk have. about the sculpture. Can we just briefly underneath the Thompson there? So this is Sorel Etrog. Um, Etrog was an internationally recognized uh, sculptor. And in fact, so this is called Sunbird II. Carries a value of twenty-five dollars to $30,000. What's remarkable is there's many different versions. There's a large version in the Art Gallery of Ontario. There's also actually um, a version in a museum in the United States as well. So they're all over the world. So um, very, very popular artists, even internationally. You have Rhea Pell. I'm um, sorry, no, that's Sorel Etrog. Etrog. Oh, okay, and yeah. next? Next up, I believe we have Jean-Paul Riappel. Right. Um, again, another internationally renowned Canadian artist. Um, the record for one of his paintings is about $7 million, one of the highest uh, prices ever achieved for a Canadian work. This painting is from, from, uh, is from uh, 1961, carries a value of $100,000 to $200,000. And finally, what's on the end? Finally, we have a work by Jack Bush. So Jack Bush is another abstract Canadian painter. It's beautiful. How, it, really great, really yes. vivid work. Um, and this is, uh, as he's inching towards abstraction, this is a 1950s work called Angry Man, which we can all uh, call, <laughs> feel parallel to uh, certain the last two years. Yeah. And that carries a value of twenty-five dollars to $35,000. Well, you touch on COVID. I mean, the pandemic uh, really brought with it a resurgence in interest in fine art, why do you think? Well, so many collectors were home, George. You know, mm. so many collectors were home. They were spending less money. They also were choosing to beautify their homes. And so many collectors completely re-engaged with collecting again. It's been remarkable. Let's talk about provenance and authenticity. You know, without giving away all the industry secrets, how, how much of a problem are fakes and frauds out there? It's certainly a problem, um, but you always want to make sure you're dealing with a reputable firm um, and a firm that's doing all their research. And, you know, with all of the works that we offer, we ensure that there is airtight provenance in place and a lot of research in place as well. You know, every time we put these sales together every six months, but there's probably a good nine to ten months of research and work before we get to that point. You've had some incredible experiences in the last uh, couple of years. One of them wrote involving a Bowie piece. Tell us about that. Yeah, we sold a David Bowie, a small David Bowie por uh, portrait last summer. And in fact, it was found in a landfill in northern Ontario. It had been discarded by someone, left there, and the, a client showed up, found it, and she paid the donation of $5 to purchase it. We, uh, it had got international attention, and we sold it for $110,000. And that was the international record for a work by David Bowie. So just an incredible story. Did the Warhol price surprise you? It did. Although what we've been finding in New York uh, in May it was about two and a half billion dollars worth of art trading. So not just in Canada, but internationally, we're finding that a lot of individuals are turning towards art, not only in terms of interest, but also in terms of investment. And I mean, Warhol has always been kind of at, at, the, at the lead of some of the highest prices in the world. And so while it was surprising at 195 million, it is also where we've seen uh, Bowie leading, or, sorry, not Bowie, but Warhol leading the charge. 92 works are going to be, 92 total, 92 of them. Uh, on the block on Wednesday. Is it, is it all Canadian? All Canadian art in this sale. Uh, at CaliAbbott.ca, we do online auctions as well. We've been international art auction this month, but we also have online auctions as well. So you just quickly touched on how, I mean, how much of what's going to be sold 
for example, Wednesday is purely for investment or for the love of art for people that can afford it? Well, it really should be for both, quite honestly. Although people roll their eyes, I mean, you really should be buying what you like. Um, and within that, you can also safely be investing. And the range of values, in, although the Thompson's at the top at, you know, 1.2 million, we have works in that sale that are also <coughs> three to 4,000, five to 7,000. So it really is inviting to collectors at all levels. And if you inherit a house or if you, you know, you're looking through the attic of some, some old Edwardian or Victorian home in this country, don't pitch anything, right? Because, I mean, we've done stories before on, you know, Thompsons that have been rediscovered collecting dust in an attic mm -hmm. or others, and it's just remarkable what's, what can be out there. What can be out there? Reach out to experts. I mean, we, uh, if you go to cowleyabbott.ca, you can certainly talk to us. We can take a look and let you know if we think it might be something that carries value. Happy to. Rob, thank you so much for joining us. It's just so good to have people back in set. <laughs> and to bring these beautiful, stunning works of art is such a joy and a treasure for